When we first started dating, Ramiro, I was always like surprised at how many similarities he would be always pointing out about how Cuba and New Orleans are so similar. We went to Cuba together in, in late 2018. And I guess uh, shortly after that is when I started writing the book, when I got the idea for the book. combined with a real incident where my mother, she lives here now. She moved to New Orleans at the end of 2019, but she used to visit a lot. And on one of her visits, when she got back to Pennsylvania, she found that there was a live, an old lizard in her suitcase that had hitched a ride from New Orleans. Actually, sometimes that happens to me that I am out there and, and I said, is my life real right now? Actually, I get like, this actually Cuba that time went by and you know, what was going on? <laughs> it's like that would be cool if the lizard came from Cuba to New Orleans and he didn't know that he was in a different city because they're so similar. It's more important now than ever for kids to recognize that we're part of a global community and just see the similarities rather than the differences. And also learning another language early on, like young is, super important, I think. I mean, I always wish that I had started studying Spanish earlier. Maybe I could talk to your dad more easily <laughs> that way. But when I came here, it surprised me that everybody said hello on the street. Everybody tried to help me out. And I felt so welcome that, that I said, damn, it feels like home to me. The only difference at, at that time was the language, of course. But do you, do you feel the the energy, the the flavor? The flavor is right here. 